Good morning, YouTube. It's Buddy with First Time RVers. It is early December. It was 75 degrees yesterday. And it is 49 right now, and it's about noon, a little before noon. I think it's even going to be lower tomorrow. And it's going to go into the 20s. I don't know about tonight, but in the next couple of days. So I am going to winterize the RV. One of the big depressing times of the season, as you RVers may know, because that means the season's come to a close for the next three or four months. For the most part, I mean, when you uh, winterize your RV, it's something pretty quick and easy and not real costly, so you can always go ahead and go RVing and just re-winterize again when you get back. But I'm heading to the auto parts store now to get some RV antifreeze. I went ahead about maybe a month ago, maybe not quite a month ago. You know what? My dog is stuck back here. I see him trying to squeeze himself out. Let me, uh, oh God. Oh, there he goes. He's up. And you may see him now. There he is. Get over there. Anyways, I did like a partial winterization three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, because we had plans on going last weekend camping. We ended up not going, but I had done a little partial, um, which is draining all my drain, all my uh, supply lines, and draining my freshwater holding tank, which I'm glad I checked because I didn't realize I had any water in there. Um, and then I went ahead and pulled, poured antifreeze in all the drains and in my toilet and stuff to, you know, for those tanks to keep them from freezing just in case because we did have a couple cool days there a couple of weeks ago. But I'm going to go ahead and do a full winterization today. So uh, we'll pick back up when I'm at the RV. So here we are at the RV. I'm going to go ahead around to the side here and unlock our outside shower. Excuse the, um, if you hear it, there's a landscaper here at the storage place. So like I said before, I've already let the water out of my low drains, which are right under here, right under there. And then my fresh water, which is right under here. There it is. And then my hot water heater. Like I said, I've already drained, but I went ahead and put the cap back on. I think I may have just hand tightened it. No, I didn't. But anyway, so we'll take that off and leave it off. It should be drained, but we'll leave that off. And we'll head inside. So right under here is where my pump is. I'm gonna just pull this drawer out here. Pull this out. All right, so I guess you didn't get to see any of that, but it took me forever to find that little hose. And of course, as the old saying goes, it was right where I put it at the end of the season last year. But anyways, this actually um, did not come uh, prepped for 
winterizing. So you, you can buy a cheap kit. It comes with this hose. It just comes with this connector here that you put in between, you know, what's already existing. Um, and then you're just going to put, you know, put that hose on here. It's going to suck directly out of the five gallon jug. Uh, one step here is to cut off the water going to your hot water heater. From what I gather, you do not want this in your hot water. But as you see, this is marine and RV antifreeze for fresh water supply systems. So this is supposed to be safe, non-staining, non-toxic, all that good stuff. So I like to, here's a look, this is like a little filter here. I like to take that off and just, as you can see, there's a little bit of grime on there. I like to just clean that off. It's funny, it actually feels more, almost like a piece of plastic. That's crazy. So I'm going to clean that off. And then I'll pick back up after I've gotten my hose installed, gotten this open and ready to go. All right, so I'm back. I got this cleaned off. Now that I see it in the camera here, it doesn't look all that clean. I still see another piece. But got that all cleaned off now, so I'm going to put that back in here where it was and then put my cover back on and I'm going to tighten up this little hose here actually seems a little this little connector seems a little loose so I'm gonna put that back on and get it nice and tight. All right, so we're gonna take off this cap. As you can see, I like to, whether it calls for it or not, I always like to put Teflon tape on things. Why not? It's cheap. I probably got 10 rolls of it around my house. And I'm just going to hand tighten this on. Open up my antifreeze. Take my cap off, stick my hose in, get it to the bottom there, and then we will head around. My wife asked me to pick up the pressure cooker to take home, so that's why that's sitting there. We're going to turn the water pump on, and you can hear it pumping. Oops, forgot to turn, <laughs> turn the knob there. So there it goes, filling up the pump. <laughs> you can see it draining out, sucking up into the pump and then the pump's going to shut off. Then I just like to go out to my farthest point. I don't know that that matters really, but I figure if anything, it'll help save. Turn on my cold. There it is. Turn on my hot.
There it is. Come over to my outdoor shower. Turn on my cold. Wait for it to come out pink. There it is. Turn on my hot. Wait for it to come out pink. There it is. And then we'll go do the same inside. I told you guys earlier, but I went ahead and took that cap off the hot water heater and just left it sitting in there. This is my little homemade outdoor tile rack. So we'll come in here, I hit the toilet, wait till that comes out pink, hit the shower, wait till that comes out pink, wait till it comes out pink, go ahead and put some up in the Oxygenix shower head which is a great investment folks and turn it off and over to the sink bathroom sink pink pink and that is it pretty much folks oh well hold on I guess I gotta do my kitchen sink too. Pink. Pink. about the whole gallon and that's it folks we are winterized and ready for next year already um, but I'll go ahead and take that off put my cap on things like that so I put the cap back on a little plastic box is which where I thought I put that hose and I did except it was a different plastic box it somehow made its way outside but anyways that's all right so like I said you, you, you need to pour down the drains and stuff which I have already done actually um, like I said I did that earlier about four weeks ago remember to turn your pump off turn my lights off make sure everything's off and then I'll go disconnect my battery and we'll be good to go. Thanks again for watching and um, we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. And if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. 